So I'm driving home in my thoughts, as always. And in my head, I wanted to like wrap up a common denominator between all of the actions that the devil does. What? Huh? I know, random. This is where my brain goes. I love my brain. Okay? I fucking love my brain. So I figured it out, though. Tell me if you understand. In a nutshell, everywhere the devil is, everywhere the devil wants to conquer, wants to gain power over, to convince, to persuade, he always conducts himself through overcompensation. Let me explain. Somebody who overcompensates, what do we, as humans, what do we understand that as? Anything or anybody that is overcompensating, probably, most likely, almost definitely, doesn't have it. What don't they have? They don't have the power, the status, the money, the pursuit. They don't got it. So they have to lie. What's over overcompensation is, is another word for a lie. You understand? To persuade its opponent or its potential friend, its potential food. That's what the devil does. The devil has to overcompensate to scare the fuck out of you. That's how he gains his power. It's that simple. He's real, but he doesn't have it. What he wants is your power. Let me really get specific here. What he wants is for you to give up your God-given power. Get it? He can't take it from you. You have to give it to him. Therefore, he needs to overcompensate. He needs to scare you into a fucking corner for you to end up giving it to him. That Like it's the only option left. That's the whole point. Do you get it? Do you understand? My brain is, is not meant for the internet. The internet would, would take a while to understand my brain, but I think I, I, could, I summed it up in a very understandable way. The devil has always overcompensated with everything he's ever done. Even as I'm saying this, there's more and more. I'm like, oh, no, there it is. Uh, 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 uh. Does God overcompensate? Does God Almighty himself ever have to overcompensate? No. He sits the fuck back and he just waits for you to figure out, figure it all out. That's it. Okay, go, go to the devil. It's okay. Learn your lesson. Go ahead. Don't go too deep because you can't come back. But go ahead. God doesn't have to scream. He doesn't have to show himself to prove that he's real. Get it? The devil always has to, sh he always has to like show himself. Here I am, here I am, here. He wants to conquer the land, conquer everything. Every little thing. The devil's in the details even. This guy even has to be in the details. This greedy fuck. And it's still not enough. If the devil is so scary... Why does he have to convince you that he's scary? God doesn't. God does not have to do that at all. He just has to stand still and you will understand his power one day. If, you, if you're sitting here listening like you don't get his power, you will. You will. And something in your life will position yourself to understand the power of God. That's it. The devil has no power. None, like literally no power at all. However, there's only one way he can get it, is if he convinces us, me, you, and the majority of people to giveth your own power. Giveth thy power. So, focus on that for a second. Try to retain your power. Okay. 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 Anyways devil overcompensates.